Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansa Queen. If this is your first time here, you are absolutely welcome. Well, today I have something different for you. I will be using my Duncan Hines Red Velvet Cake Mix to make us uh, some delicious red velvet cookies. Yes, you heard me right. We're gonna be making some box cake mix cookies using our red velvet cake mix. And this was a final result. Look at that. It is gonna be nice and soft, chewy, and very delicious. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started. <music> Okay, my beautiful people, this is the box cake mix that I'm going to be using today. If you've been following my channel, you know I use the Duncan Hines um, brand quite a bit. So you need one box of that and this is a 15 ounce box. You would also need two eggs and these are at room temperature. I just made sure that I brought them out of the refrigerator um, early enough so they could get down to room temperature. So you know when you're making the box cake, it asks for three eggs and then we could bump it up to four to make it rich. But we only need two since we're making cookies. Moving on, you would need one stick of butter, which is equivalent to half a cup of butter. You would need to melt this butter, okay? If you do not have butter, oil also works perfectly for this recipe. You can also use half a cup of vegetable oil instead of butter. Now, what are some good old cookies without some chocolate chips? So I am gonna be using some white chocolate chips today to um, add the flavor and richness to our cookies. If you don't have this, you could just simply make a glaze and just put it over your cookies, but this works perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and melt this butter and I'll be right back. I simply just put it in the microwave for like, it's already at room temperature. Then I put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and it just melts and it's not warm at all. To that, I'm gonna be adding my eggs, just cracking two eggs. This recipe is so simple. Now this is purely optional, but I'm gonna tell you it's gonna make a whole lot of difference. Add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. It's gonna be so delicious, trust me. I'm not even using a hand mixer today. I'm just using my whisk and a wooden spatula. So using your whisk, just go ahead and combine the eggs and butter and vanilla together, just so they are well incorporated. And then we would go ahead and add in a box cake mix. So you just wanna empty out the whole box. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch my videos, my returning subscribers. And if this is your first time here, like I said, feel free to look around. You might find a thing or two that you might like. And please go ahead and subscribe, join the Mansa team. The holidays are coming up. I have a lot of fun recipes for you. And I always take suggestions from my subscribers, my viewers. So if it's, there's something that you would like to see from Mansa Queen, just go ahead and drop it in the comment section and I will add it to my to-do list. Thank you guys so much. Now moving on, as you can see, I am just using my whisk, putting some elbow grease in there. Guys, I am so used to using my hand mixer. I was struggling, okay? Your girl was struggling over here. <laughs> I got my mini workout. As you can see, the batter is really thick and that is really what you want. It's totally fine. So I'm gonna switch to my wooden spatula and just, you know, fold everything together because I've already um, incorporated everything. So it is nice and smooth. And it is now time to add in our white chocolate chips. I got a cup, so I'm gonna put most of it and just save a few, and I will show you exactly what I'm gonna do with that in a moment. Now you just wanna go ahead and fold this, and remember, you do not wanna overbeat this batter at all. This is the most simple recipe out here. Just fold it in gently so that when our cookies bake, they're gonna be nice and very pretty. It's gonna look very appealing when you see those pops of white out there, okay? So now, it is time to go ahead and let a batter rest. So you have to put this in the refrigerator. You just go ahead and cover it with a saran wrap or um, the plastic wrap. Go ahead, just cover that and then put it in the refrigerator. You wanna keep this for about 30 minutes to one hour, but because of the video, I did not have time to wait that long. I made sure to keep it in the refrigerator for at least 
30 minutes so that all the butter can solidify again and this is what it looks like after 30 minutes chilling in the refrigerator it is nice and still very soft as you can see but it has formed quite a bit so this is my cookie scoop i am using a medium cookie scoop by the way i will make sure to leave a link in the description box i just got mine from walmart you can get it from amazon as well okay so you just want to take your scoops and just scoop it out my scoop is very easy to use if you do not have a cookie scoop you can just use a spoon scoop out a little and then roll it into your hands like a ball okay but you want the ball to be taller than wider okay that way your cookie is not going to spread too much and just look flat like pancake so this is the leftover um, chocolate chips that I had now what I'm gonna do you know when you're folding the cookies and you scoop out the batter not all of the chocolate chips are gonna be picking out to give you that perfect um, look at the end so this is the trick I like to go in there and just place a few maybe two to three um, chocolate chips on top of the cookie dough that I scooped out and let me tell you when it bakes it will be so delicious okay so I bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes you want to do nothing more than 12 minutes so make sure you check it and once the top is formed a little bit your cookies should be done you do not want to overcook it because remember when you take them out of the oven they're still going to be cooking so you make sure you let them sit out for about uh, five to ten minutes and then transfer them on a cooling rack to cool down further and this is a final result look at that it is so nice and chewy and let me tell you the vegetable oil works perfectly for this recipe as well but as we know butter has more flavor it's more intense in flavor than vegetable oil which is really more on the plain side but they both work perfectly i think it's a matter of preference honestly if you ask me so try both and let me know which one you like better i can go with either butter or oil honestly and let me just open up one and we can see what it looks like as you can see nice and really soft those chocolate chips that I added on the top <laughs> made the difference. This is what we're working with, guys. Look at that. Oh, mm -mm. So this, I think, is even better the next day. It is so good. It is so, so good. And the holidays are coming up. You can always make these and share with your neighbors, with your family. You can freeze them and send it over to your loved ones. It is so perfect. I love it so much and I hope you get to try it. Thank you guys so much for watching and until I catch you in my next one, y'all stay safe. I love you all. Bye.